the confrontation of national macroeconomic management versus a fixed exchange rate system. Established at Bretton Woods, but uh, early bits of it were starting already in, in, the, in, the, in the late 30s. So this is 1934 to 1971, I think, or what, what's, how does he date that? 1971. So here again, there's this issue that there's this contradiction between every nation, every finance minister, every central bank of every nation wants to say, well, I want to adopt policies that are going to be good for my country. On the other hand, they commit themselves to some kind of fixed exchange rate with other countries. These things are, you, this cannot be, these, these things cannot really be squared um, unless you have some uh, someone who's going to absorb all the, all the contradiction. Um, and so I'm going to give you, uh, uh, and, and that would have been the United States, which didn't do it. Okay. There was one idea, a couple of ideas, for how you could make these things work. Keynes had this idea, the keynes Bancor plan. Have you heard of that? Keynes uh, was, of course, the predominant economist in, in, uh, in Britain. And so when they were trying to think about putting the international monetary system back together after, after the war, um, they had some meetings. And in particular, they eventually had this meeting at Bretton Woods, um, which is this resort in New, in New Hampshire, um, where they created the, the post-war post -war plan. But in the, in the discussions back and forth between Keynes and his counterparts in the US before this, um, he, he was trying to promote this idea that let's have a, a sort of a world central bank, I'll call it the international bank, and an international a true global currency, which we'll call Bancor. Okay. And the way we're going to work this is that deficit countries and surplus countries will make payments to one another. The deficit countries will make payments to one another um, in this in this new invent invented currency called Bancor, okay, instead of gold. Okay. And the reason why we're inventing this currency is to make it possible for there to be, uh, to increase and, and decrease the quantity of it as, as, as need is, so that deficit countries can make payments essentially by, by borrowing. Uh, They can borrow, and that what they loan, what they borrow, is created out of thin air by the bank and transferred to the surplus country here. We've seen stuff like this, right, at the level of the, uh, at the level of a, of a country, right? When we, we talk about when, when somebody inside the United States needs to, a deficit agent needs to pay a, a surplus agent, okay, and they don't have the funds to do that, okay, they can ultimately borrow from the central bank um, in, order to, in order to do that. Or they borrow from a bank that borrows from the central bank. So these are, these, these are banks. So this is like expansion of the Fed's balance sheet instead of the Fed funds market or something like this. Okay, so it's, it's, a, it's a lender of last resort operation, but at the international level um, and in this bank or currency. Um, so Keynes proposed this. This is a sort of classic banking solution to this kind of problem. But the United States looked at this and they said, okay, let's just ask ourselves which of these people is going to be us? Okay, which of these agents is going to be us? And which is going to be you? Okay. And it was pretty clear that this was going to be the UK and this was going to be the US. In fact, not only that, this was going to be all of Europe okay, and basically everyone. And this was going to be the US. 
And so what this seems to the U.S. to be is a mechanism for forcing the U.S. to make a whole bunch of loans to other countries, okay, um, through this intermediary um, that they don't have any control over, okay, that they're lending to this international bank and the, and the international bank is lending on to the UK and, and, and so forth. Now that, of course, that was definitely true after the war. That was exactly how the balance of payments was going to, was going to work um, because of the consequence of war. Um, but it might not have gone on forever that way, but it was going to go on for a while that way. To make matters worse, Keynes insisted that to, to get around this deflationary uh, impulse of, of, of the gold standard that he had seen before, he wanted to eliminate the so-called asymmetry of adjustment, which is that it's the deficit country that has to adjust, right? This is the survival constraint. It's the deficit country that has to adjust because you have to acquire, you know, the international reserve somewhere. Um, and so Keynes had actually proposed um, that we charge uh, an interest rate on this loan and we also charge an interest rate on this deposit, okay? So that instead of you paying, you know, 3% on this and that, that yielding 3% here, passing through, um, you actually have, you charge 3% on, 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 the, on the deposit um, in order to encourage the United States to spend this money here, to buy goods in Europe, okay? This is money that, that if you hold on to it, it's just going to lose value, so you should spend it. Okay, this, was, this, this didn't go over well again. So not only are you forcing me to make a loan, you're forcing me to make it at a negative rate of interest. I don't think so. Okay, and so we didn't get Bancor, the Bancor plan. We didn't get the Bancor plan. And inevitably, I think, you know, the, it was an attempt to uh, eliminate the survival constraint, eliminate the discipline um, that the deficit countries were going to be facing. The deficit countries were going to be facing big discipline because they were going to be deficit countries and they were going to need to get goods from, from the U.S. In order, to, in order to rebuild their economies after, after the war. And that's an awkward position to be in if you're a sovereign country and you want to control your own, your own future. So what we got instead of the Bancor plan was the IMF. That was, that was the, uh, the U.S. plan. 